People who are gathering in party PDP today staged a protest to the INEC office showing the grievance over the conduct of the presidential election as the APC presidential campaign council reaches out to the opposition. And the former president, Lucia Gumabasanje, comes for the president, Muhammad Buhari, as he says he is his boss and he has a right to criticize him if he's doing the wrong thing. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on China's television. I'm Sean Kimalo in Lagos. Well, former President Olusha Gombasanjo is one of those who have criticized the Buhari government in the open and loudly too. And today he did so again and he has defended the reasons he always does. Listen to the former president. Well, let's tell you some more political stories that we have for you on our political roundup. President Mohamed Buhari has appealed for greater support from traditional rulers to consolidate on his promises to deliver on security, economy and fighting corruption. Speaking at a meeting with members of the traditional rulers council at the state, President Buhari says he will abide by the tenets of his office, which he swore to uphold, and after four years, he will go back to Dora, his hometown. No fewer than 157 PDP councillors in Kwara State have dumped the ruling party, the People's Democratic Party, to join the All Progressives Congress ahead of the governorship and state assembly elections that is coming up in a few days' time. The councillors, drawn from five out of 16 local government areas of the state, said they defected to APC in line with the directions of the masses, noting that they were elected under the party's platform and need to abide with the people's wish. They are going with APC. The National Orientation Agency has been speaking with stakeholders on how to fight vote buying at elections. The menace of vote buying has been identified as a major threat to democracy and it impacts negatively on the integrity of the electioneering process. Some old stories are making headlines across the land. Well, let's stay in Abuja for a moment. Today, leaders and members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have met. But this time around, they took to the streets. Their protest was uh, taken to the INEC headquarters in Abuja to challenge the outcome of the February 23rd elections and demand that the military stay away from the polls on the 9th of March. The protesters, led by the party chairman, Uche Sakandas, uh, made their way from the Legacy House to the INEC headquarters, where INEC officials received the petition of the party and promised that the commission will investigate the issues raised and urged the party to ensure their members on the field remain peaceful. On the other hand, the Director General of the Buhari Presidential Campaign Organization, Mr. Rutimi Amechi, is advising the opposition PDP not to fight over the result of the presidential election. Rather, members should work with the APC towards nation building. Mr. Amechi was speaking at a news conference held at the Progress All Progressive Congress campaign office in Abuja. He says the APC is satisfied with the number of votes it gained in a presidential election. 
the first violence was at Abonema. A lieutenant, no, the lieutenant was standing protecting INEC staff. INEC staff hired killers, not even from Abonema, came all the way from some part of the country. I won't mention them because one of them is the my area. And opened fire on military men. Open fire on who? Killed and killed one. Please, what do you expect? Where is that person who has a <laughs> So what do you expect that they will fold their hands and then you kill all the soldiers there? So when they responded in self-defense, hey, they've killed, they are demonstrating the dominant soldiers. Why don't you want soldiers in an area that is predominantly dominated by militants? The next, after election, two days or three days after election, they go back to that same place, kill three soldiers, and cut away their guns. And the gentleman is asking me if I'm remorseful. I'm neither a military man, nor am I from a bonny man. Nor did I leave my house to go to a bonny man to vote that day, or the previous day. So how am I involved?